everyone welcome back to my channel before we get started i wanted to go ahead and thank everyone for their support don't forget to like comment and subscribe for today's video i will be doing some carrot cheese balls for your easter snack bar for your materials you will need some cheese balls i found this one at target but i also saw some at dollar tree that you can get that are more affordable I got a cone treat bag, I found that one at Michael's. The ribbon I got at Dollar Tree, some scissors. The Easter grass is, and the basket are optional and I got both of these at Dollar Tree. We will go ahead and put some of the stuff to the side that we will not be using for now. We will start by opening the cone bag. And I will take one out. I will be using, you can use some gloves, but I will be using a spoon because I did not have some gloves um, on hand. It will just kind of open the bag. And we will go ahead and open this up. Like I said, open the bag. As you can see, it does kind of stick together. We will start by putting a little bit inside. Just so it can kind of go down and kind of guide it through. So it can go all the way to the bottom. Once you have that part done, you will just fill it up little by little. We will leave a little bit on the top uh, of space. Just so we can have that, so we're able to tie the ribbon. Like that's about fine. Once you have that, just put it to the side and we will go ahead and cut the ribbon. Just get enough to tie it up. I think about this length is fine. It will be a little bit difficult to tie it up by yourself. If you need help, you can go ahead and have another person help you. So we will go ahead and just make a regular, just tie it up. And once you have that, just pull it as tight as you can. And we will use the scissors to kind of make a little curl right here. So just kind of go like this. You will grab one, you will have the scissors in the back and then you will grab the ribbon with your finger like that and just kind of guide it through. It might take a little bit of tries, so that's fine. As you can see, it curled up. Now we will do the same thing on the other side. And there you have it. I will go ahead and do a couple more just to show you. You will go ahead once again, open the bag up. And we will put a couple inside and just push it down all the way down and as you can see the bag might close but that's fine and we'll just keep putting some more inside just fill it up space at the top so you have enough space to tie it up and I think that's about it I think that's fine that's good enough we'll put it down and get the ribbon now as I said previously just get enough so that way you have enough to tie it with and kind of make, uh, make the curls Then we'll go ahead and tie it. This part is a little hard, but that's fine. And just tie it up as much as you can. And now we'll go ahead and make the curls. Like I said, open the scissors up. Have, have half of the scissors in the back and then 
just the ribbon on top and then your finger on top and just pull it through like that and as you can see the curls are starting to form and that's it and you would just continue and do the same thing just open up the bag Put just a couple inside first, push it down, and just keep filling it up. Just remember not to fill it up all the way to the top. that's fine you can always check kind of tie it with your hand and if you think that's good enough you can go ahead and leave it and if you feel like you put too much in there just go ahead and put some back now we will go ahead and cut the ribbon and just do the same thing tie it up Now we will make the curls with the scissors. And if it kind of comes out like this, that's fine. Just go ahead and tie it back. You can see. Now we'll go ahead and put this to the side and grab our basket. I'm good. This is just kind of for show. I'm just going to put them on there. And I also got the Easter dress for the same reason, just kind of to put, to make it more presentable. I'll just keep putting a little bit in there. Just as much as you, as you want. Now we can go ahead and just put them in there. And I also made a couple more. And this is a very nice thing to have on your Easter snack bar if you'd like. And you can also make this with your kids or you can also put this on your Easter basket, which I think is a very good idea. And thank you for watching.